email alias versus group email. So users are in yellow. Peter.m at itgenius.com. This is an alias and then group or a distribution list. So an alias is another version of a mailbox name that also delivers into this mailbox. Now, I often call mailboxes buckets because it's easiest to conceptualize that each mailbox that is assigned to a user is one bucket of email. And an alias is a different name that you don't pay for, not a bucket, but this emails that go to that address will also drop into that bucket that's there and exists. Now, a group or a distribution list, as it's otherwise called, they're the same they're the same thing. It's similar to an alias. It's, it effectively is still an alias, but it puts emails in multiple buckets. So it's an alias that will send a copy of that email into multiple buckets. The interesting thing about these group slash distribution lists is, now again, you don't pay for them, just like you don't pay for a normal alias here, but you also get access to the group's service which is like index of all of those emails that came through that distribution list. You know, it's still kind of an alias, but it's a bit misleading to call it an alias. It's a distribution list. So let's say I've got one called feedback, feedbackitgenius.com. This is a distribution list and any email that gets sent here, it arrives in the buckets of the people that are in this group, but I can also see it here in the group's service. And the reason for that is because in the old days, Google had Google Groups set up as effectively like a forum. It's like 20, 30 year old internet technology, like newsletter lists that it's it's evolved from where there would be one place where you could see the whole list of all of the emails within a distribution group. So that's kind of like the background of why there's like this index app that you can go to and see all the messages. But Fundamentally, they're doing the same thing. It's just that what we call an alias, and technically that would be a user alias, you set that up in the users menu in the admin panel versus the groups slash distribution list, which you would set up in the groups setting of the admin panel. That's the only difference is where you set it up. Same function. It's another email address that happens to work and puts a copy of emails into people's buckets. The user alias gets attached to a user. And I'll show you exactly where that is. You can just ask our team to set aliases for you. You don't need to bother going into the admin panel, but if you want to, it's there for you. But if you wanna modify an alias, you first need to go to the user's bucket that you wanna add the alias to. So I'll go to Peter here. And under user information, is where I set my aliases. So there we go. So it's called alternative email addresses. You can see their email alias. So I can add, if I want to add, you know, bob at itgenius.com. I don't know, maybe Bob's left the company and I want all Bob's emails to come to me. Or maybe it's like peter.m was my other example. I can have that come in to my email account when I set it up here in the user menu. Groups, otherwise, this is what it looks like. That feedback group that I created will appear in the groups list. Customer feedback, here we go. So feedback at itgenius.com. I set the email, I set the name of the group, and I choose who do I wanna have inside that group as members. And each of these people will get the email when somebody sends an email to that one internally or externally. You can set some of these to be internal only if you want. You don't have to expose it to the internet, but they are your options. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.